one simple, simple trick to fix your backswing forever. Now, in my mind, as a PJ Gold professional, fixing your backswing is giving you the knowledge so you can stand there and go, this is the position I need, this is the position I need. Now, one thing that really does bug me, and I hear it all the time, I've got to keep these arms really straight and really locked out. It's ruining your game, that. So let's talk about how you create the perfect backswing and allow you to stand there and have the knowledge that you've got the club in the perfect position up here to give you the best chance of striking the ball down at impact. It's the foundations of your swing, let's get it right. Now, let's start off with how do we start this golf swing, okay? Now, in my mind, I want you to think about the golf swing being on an arc that works around our body. So if we just stood over the golf ball like I am here, put your palms out in front of you, and then turn your right palm up to the ground and give your right arm a little bit of a kink, this is how we want the swing to work. On this inclined plane, around our body. We don't want it to level out, we don't want it to lift up too much, we want a good blend of arms and body working together. Now, if you flip to the face on perspective now, and I'll move a, a little bit further forward, you can see my elbows are sitting on the side and slightly in front of my chest throughout. It's not here, it's more here. Now that's a really, really key point. Because if you're putting so much tension in that left arm, we're probably getting our right arm too bent and we're trying to sh straighten it like this, killing your game. So the checkpoints I want you to use, and we're gonna think of this video today in two parts. This is part number one, and this is gonna have set up and start. What I want you to do during your setup, can we feel we're just pinching those elbows a little bit closer together rather than being further apart? Now, I'm not asking you to tense them. All I'm asking you to do is pinch them a little bit closer together. Imagine you had two 20 pound notes under your armpits. We wouldn't let them go, would we? Okay, nice simple thought. Squeeze the 20 pound note slightly. Start our swing where we move it all together. Now I'm going to keep doing this and you're going to keep moving around me to the down the line perspective and you're going to really see this move. And I want you to practice this. I mean we see Justin Thomas, we see some of the top players practice this move and the key elements and the step-by-step -step guide to this part is club face nice and strong, lead wrist nice and flat, elbows stay the same distance apart. Elbows will get further apart if I started to twist because I had to manipulate the club. If I started to level off, the same thing would happen. So this is a really key point. This position here is how we want to start the golf swing to start the perfect backswing for your golf game. So hopefully so far you're going, actually, well, I don't do bits like that. I don't do this. This is really starting to twig. This is really starting to become clear in your game. Let's move on to part two. Let's now move to that position at the top of the backswing. Do we want to be cupped? Do you want to be bowed? Do you want to be flat? Now, we see many of the top players be from this position to this position these days. And this is what I want you to think about here. I don't see many of the top golfers be in this position at the moment in the golf game. I see a lot of club golfers right here, and this is one of the reasons why we have a weaker club face. So, to get a bit of understanding here, and this is what I want you to think about in today's video, is we're giving you the knowledge so you've got some checkpoints to always fix your back swing yourself. That's why I'm saying this can fix you forever. If we're too cupped, okay, generally this gives us a bit of a weaker face at the top of the backswing. If we're flatter, we would class this as long as it was matching our lead forearm and the club face was matching this, we would say this would be a position which is more neutral. And if we DJ'd it, this would be a position which we would count as a very strong position, giving us a more closed club face. Now, how many golfers, right? Please hit that thumbs up button if you're one of those golfers who miss is it off to the right it's weak it's high it's horrible right i know you've been there i've been there so we have to get in that area where we feel it's a little bit more neutral so building now these are your building blocks to your backswing let's fix it for good 
So we've got elbows stay same distance apart, together. Now this is really key. I don't want you to feel your right arm bends past 90 degrees. I want you to feel it stays really sort of at 90 or more in terms of this direction. So this would be 90 degrees. This would be like making it less than 90. This would be sort of 180, okay? So really feeling as though we go one, elbows stay the same distance apart, my right arm stays in this position here. This gives me width, this helps me give a flat lead wrist, and really helps me deliver that golf club. Now, I have width there without feeling tension, okay? Because I'm not pulling in with this one and pushing out with this one. It's a nice, simple thing to think about. So if we go that again, we've got position one, We've got position two, let the arm fold to the top of the backswing and through. And back. Now this is a bit of a bingo moment. And I say a bingo moment because I use this analogy with one of my students not just a couple of weeks ago of if I was gonna really hit a tennis ball back, it wouldn't come very close to me and work like this. I would keep some width in my right arm and I would move through. I would work it a lot closer to what I want to do in the golf swing, not what I don't want to do in the golf swing. So my checkpoints for you at the top of the backswing are as followed. One, set the golf club, nice flat lead, flat lead wrist, together to the top, really feeling like I'm not excessively bending and having to push out with my left. I've really got this position to the top. I'm nice and relaxed. I'm in that position as if I was gonna throw something away, as if I was gonna hit with a tennis racket. A nice simple analogy. So whether you're a brand new golfer, whether you're someone that's played golf for a long time, whether you're someone who's just struggling with their game right now, I want you to look at this video as this is my checkpoint to take to the golf course to help me improve. So next time we got a shot, I mean 135, right? We're hoping we're gonna get the green. We're hoping we're gonna have a good chance of making a net birdie putt. Got it, right? If we're gonna to look to improve our game, this is our scoring yardage. Let's run through my pre-shot routine to help you bring it in. Now, building this into my pre-shot routine, I'd go one, two, three. Nice flat lead wrist. You can see my golf club is matching my lead forearm. This gives us structure to give us a great strike or potential of creating a great strike in the golf swing. So let's move into the shot. Come on, 135. This is where we want confidence in our game. Oh, be the club. We will take that all day long. Now the reason I really like this in the golf swing is it gives you a feeling of Club's in a great position. I'm now ready to unload it into the golf ball. Thanks so much for watching today's video. It's a simple one, it's an easy one, it's a fix. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow where we're back with some more fitness on my fitness journey to 120 in six weeks.